If this works, you're you're gonna get the silver capacitor award. Sweet. Okay. Put it on my necks. Yep. You know, we'll put, we'll give you a little chain. Maybe I'll give you like a silver chain. All right, push in the contactor. Baruch Hashem, it works, and he now is the winner of the silver capacitor contest. Yes. <laughs>have a Goodman here. That's a, uh, a 42 or a 30. AC mode. All right, R22. Smack up against the house. And we have a York. Looks like a 48. Yeah, four ton. This thing straight up for caps. Line sets buried. They used armor flex there. They buried, snuffed it over the line set. Interesting. She's a rattler. She's a rattler. All right, let's pull the power up on this one. All right, Peter, let's get the, the miniature 5 sixteenths. Take out these two screws that are hard to get to. I'm gonna take this cover off. All right, the condenser fan motor top shroud is removed. I don't see any damage to the fan blade, but what we do notice is a little bit of a wobble on that shaft. A little bit of a wobble. Surprisingly, no oil residue leaking out of it. But uh, that's the cause of the noise. Fan right, motor. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna replace this condenser fan motor. I got my Croil Penetrant, right? This is that good stuff. We're gonna squirt a little bit in there. Right there. Okay. And then Peter is gonna get the grinder. I was thinking about using the shaft blaster by uh, Subco. We're just gonna use the grinder and just cut off the extra shaft there. I could also sand this down with scratchy paper and it'll make this easier to take out, but we'll use the grinder. Think it's gonna come right out? It did last time. <laughs> All right. I have faith. Would be pretty cool if it did. Let's just. Uh... Oh, baby. Yep. Yeah, that's right, baby. That's right. All right. So for our replacement condenser fan motor, I got this sent by Vivor. They want me to try this out. We're gonna try it out here. This is a uh, two away two thirty. Um, one amp of power, 1075. Let's take a look at the old motor. Does that gives us any identifying information. This Goodman, we have 1100 RPM and we're good. As far as horsepower, we're at a quarter horse. Like an unboxing. Yeah. Look at that little baby capacitor. That's nice. What do you want to bet it tests out of range? Probably. <laughs> Let's find out. Hold on. It's pretty cool. We're going to set our Fluke 902 FC clamp on multimeter. Set that to read capacitance. And let's see what this bad boy gives us. One there, one there. Five. 5.2? 5.1? Nice. 5.1. Okay, so it needs to test plus or minus 10% out of resistance or 5%. So 5% of 5 would be what? 0.5. No. 5%? 0.25. 0.25. 5.25. Okay. And it gave us 0.2. Almost was out of range. It almost was out of range. It said 5.2 for a second. If it said 5.3, we go, you know, we go like, go like this. Oh, let me see if I can do it. What do you think? Can you do it? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get ridiculed for doing that by the way. Look at Mikey Pipes to hack. He's kicking customers capa single capacitor that red 5.2. So here's our new condenser fan motor. It doesn't identify any kind of horsepower. I think there's a method of doing it though. Like figuring the out. amperage versus speed and wattage. Five microfarad at 370. So Look, it's, it's by. Easier if they just put it on. It's by Jiu Song China, made in China. No shit. <laughs> uh -oh. By the way, did you hear that Governor Ron DeSantis uh, passed a law in Florida where banning banning Chinese uh, nationals from owning property in Florida? Oh really? Did you hear about that? I didn't hear about. I that. I don't know if that was. I read it on. I, if I heard it on Onion News, well, that's crazy. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. So, by the way, this is our reversing wire. So if we need to reverse the orientation of uh, operation, we do that. Uh -huh, so, okay. now, let's see if these line up with anything. Okay, I think we'll be good there. Our wires went there, close enough. Can we do it there? No, we'll do it there. Okay, so now, let's try to get this bad boy together. Is it yeah. fit? Yep. Okay, Peter. You're gonna have to oh, have check out Peter's hair, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, he's single, and guess what? Monday, Peter's turning 22, which means this weekend, starting as soon as we're done, starts his birthday celebration weekend. There may be Latinas chicas. There could probably be white girls. He loves white girls. Maybe some like dark chocolate. I don't know. Okay, you never know. It's all pink on the inside. <laughs> all right, let me stop before. I... Okay, let's put that on there. I'll stop before uh, Nana Claire like yells at me. Okay, now, one thing I noticed is that, see, it has a little stop right there. See? You know how the, check this out. See that? Little stop right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? But it didn't come with any screws, so you know what? It kind of like negates it. Now it's just an okay condenser. All right, I cut a piece of liquid tight, half inch liquid tight, to conceal the wires there. Um, yeah, good luck getting three wires. And why there's only three wires and not four uh, is a whole other question. Uh, don't forget about the ground. We'll have to do that too. But um, we're going to use the shaft blaster. I was going to use the grinder to cut this down, but we're going to use the shaft blaster. Found a previous shaft. Found a previous shaft in the shaft blaster? How's your shaft? Pretty great. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. All right. Now this, this is going to go like that, right? We're going to tighten this down onto a, a thing right there, right? Right, and now it's like that. And then the shaft blaster works by just cutting the shaft. So hold the phone. So it's like a grinder for it's like your... A, it's like a for the phone. Good. We're going to get my Milwaukee impact driver. Pretty okay. cool. And I am going to, to make my life easier, I'm going to put it on the floor right here. Okay. I'm going to take my shaft, right? All right, and... I gotta admit, it's easier with an angle grinder. This is really cool though. It's really cool though. I wasn't expecting that. See, shaft blast. All right, Peter. <laughs> so now for that capacitor, it gets wired between brown and white. White continues to go to 240 volts, right? But brown and white is where that capacitor goes. This little baby capacitor. A little baby capacitor. Hello. And remember, if you're going to the beach, don't forget to bring it down. Right, so before we install the replacement condenser fan motor. We are doing a clean out of the bottom of the condensers. Look at this. This is literally like... It's almost like sand. Yeah. Like that. That's how old that stuff is and no one's been cleaned it. The, the leaves are turning into mulch. <laughs> <laughs> so I already uh, did the wash uh, with the Viper Venom Pack right on this coil and I'm using the by also refrigeration technologies, the, the Vi Viper foam gun. And I have the undiluted chemical in there. That's how I was told now you need to use it. I was diluting with water and been putting in there, but apparently that's not how you need to do it. Really? So, yeah, really apparently put the chemical straight into the, the, uh, the, the little bucket. 
the dispenser and you know you set the dial according to how you know the um the level of dirtness that you need to clean I, I think danny thought that the, the different levels Here's were like how it's diluted correct but apparently that's how it's done so this one is doing a little uh soaking in action right now see a little bit foamy action going on over there and then we'll do this one next for the quick little rinse we increase the uh, the setting to E to really dispense the the viper, the venom, to clean the coil. No fur coats on my on my watch. Ain't that right, Peter? Okay. With this, deport the fur coats. All right. So Peter's now rinsing the condensing coils, and while he's doing that, I just noticed just noticed the, the company here, Zhuang Sang Broad Ocean Motor Company. Right. Obviously, it's a, uh, a Chinese company, right? Made, no, I thought I said made in diagram, not wired diagram. Doesn't say where it's made in, but Zing Wong Shan, Broad Ocean. And we have Chang Zhong Hu Kang Bu, Electro Motor, China. I don't know. We'll see how it works when we're done cleaning the condenser. He's gonna clean that one, and then that, and then we're gonna test the resistance on the contactor and then I'll check our capacitance on the dual All right, capacitor. so I tested my 55 dual capacitor 50 over 5 dual capacitor and I got 46.5 on my Herm to common um, and I shake it around I don't hear anything but we're we're gonna be out of range by probably by the end of the season or maybe on the first hot day and this is gonna go kaput so um, factoring that in we're gonna go with the AMRAD this is the 50 over 5 dual capacitor it's got the cpt terminal on top that stands for compressor uh, protection terminal and especially since we're using a hard start in this in the system we're going to put that hard start right there and uh, save that right so you connect hard start between herm and cpt we're going to save that save that uh that compressor should uh there be a problem with the hard start all right so my new dual capacitor is in using the amarad and before i hook up my hard start Let's just check amperage. We're gonna check amperage on the compressor wire, the hermetically sealed uh, terminal. Let's see what happens with our amperage. All right, we're 6.3 there. Okay. Now let's check our other lines of power. Let's check the black wire and let's turn on compressor. And let's check, see if we actually need this hard start. 9.3, okay. And last but not least, let's check the red wire right there and 10 6 10 7 10 i don't even think it needs the hard start but let's see what happens when we put the hard right, so start like the last guy i put a screw in to hold that dual i'm sorry the hard start let's check our power now so one on cpt the other one on herm 7.1 this time on my herm wire Let's go to red, All right? Let's try that with that. 10.4, 10.5, and last but not least, our black wire. And let's see, 8.5. I don't see any difference with the hard start, but it was there before and I'm inclined to, to take it out, but it's on the compressor uh, protection terminal of the AMRED dual cap, cap and we're gonna keep it there. Peter's nervous. Peter. I, I gave him a mission. I said, test the dual capacitor, right? And if it's out of range, replace it. Yeah. The dual capacitor ha also has a hard start there, right? So let's see, he had some questions regarding the wiring. You didn't wire it correctly. I told you, there's a, you know, there was only one wire going to common mm -hmm. and that was coming from the, the condenser fan motor. This condenser fan motor was replaced once before, right? And when you get a replacement condenser fan motor, there's two brown wires. Mm -hmm. those, both those brown wires go to a capacitor. But you can put one wire on common and one wire on a capacitor of a dual capacitor, and it'll work. All right, and I, I believe if you reverse it, you're wrong. <laughs> so plug that in, we'll see what happens. You also got to push in the contactor. Is the contactor accessible? Yeah, it sure is. Okay. P Peter is using the proper technique for pushing in a, reinstalling the, the plug on a, on a um, disconnect. What do you expect, Peter? Look, they, they, they put cement over the line set. You think it's going to go back on easy? You're better off manhandling the condenser. Manhandle that condenser. There you go. Now, you're going to get an insulated screwdriver or a tool. 
and push in that contact. It, listen, one of two things is going to happen. Actually, one of three things are going to happen. You know what those? You know what the three things are? It's gonna, uh, it's gonna work. Yes. It's number two. Pop the breaker. Number three. It's gonna explode. <laughs> well, no. So it's gonna work. It's not gonna work, or it'll, it'll spark there, and you'll uh, pop the breaker. Okay. So right. just because it doesn't work doesn't mean it's gonna pop. The Correct. Okay, cool. So push it and see what happens. <laughs> Everyone, cover their, cover their ears and eyes. Oh. Fuck. Oh. There's something wrong with the... Hey, let go. Because your condenser fan motor is not running. And that's probably because you don't have um, a capacitor to start it. Something's wrong with the capacitor there. But the fact that your compressor came on and you didn't pop the breaker is good. Okay. Give yourself a pat on the back and give yourself a thumbs up. Smash a thumbs up for Peter. He's learning. Let's All see right, so there's work. only one brown wire coming from the condenser fan motor. And Peter had it going... I don't know, there's two brown wires. One's for the compressor. You can see in there. And the other one is for the condenser fan motor. He had one on fan and one on common. And, well, we're lucky the compressor turned on. But maybe that's because the hard start is there. But um, we got to figure out which one is compressor, which one is fan. And also, I broke this off the common terminal right there. So we're going to fix that. And uh, we'll figure out the two right, wires. So we identified that the darker of the two brown wires is going to the compressor. The lighter of the two is going to my fan motor, and I use my Klein needle nose, and I crimp that on there uh, because I couldn't find my crimper, and it is what it is. Peter's going to resecure the condenser fan motor uh, guard blade uh, shroud. We'll plug in the power, and then he's going to press in the contact and hopefully have action. And meanwhile, take a look at all the dirt that came out of these two condensers. This just looks like a bunch of soupy dirt, but look. Look at all the dirt that came out of these condensers. There's all the dirt right there, look at that, it's crazy. A lot of dirt. All right, Peter, a lot of dirt. You know what, if this works, you're, you're gonna get the silver capacitor award, okay? Put it on my neck. Yep, you know, we'll, put, we'll give you a little chain, maybe I'll give you like a silver chain. All right, push in the contactor. Baruch Hashem, it works, and he now is the winner of the silver capacitor contest. Yes. All right, so our maintenance is done on both systems. Replace the condenser fan motor here. Uh, I, had a, I didn't have any more yellow stickers, so I just use this one for now. This says, this unit may be covered in the warranty. All of our services, our phone number, and uh, all that good stuff, branding. If you're doing a job, make sure you put a sticker on your equipment.